Let me tell you what happens between these block walls every single day. Let me introduce you to Nick. Hi, I'm Nick. So when a customer first comes in, we'll set an estimator out to assess the damage. This is Anthony. How's the car, Anthony? We can fix it. After the customer gets the estimate, they'll hand the keys off to reception and they'll hand it off to our detailer. Here's Joe. First I wash the car, and then I give it to the tech. I'm Dan, I disassemble the vehicles. From me it goes to bodywork, from bodywork it goes to the paint department. After that it comes back to me, I rebuild the vehicle, and then we send it to Joe in the detail department. I'm Eric, by the way. This happens at all the shops every day. Chad's Ford! x Westchester! Trooper, 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 trooper! We're in New Jersey! Woodbury! It's a family thing. If there's a problem, we take it to Bob. He really doesn't want to come in. He really doesn't give a damn about me. But, you know, but he thinks somehow that I'm an imbecile and I buy into his bullshit. And people know when, when they're getting played. Now you tell me, Jesus Christ, that took so much out of me to do this. <laughs> You're doing great, man. Cut the check. Brandywine um, is just a name, and the people inside of it create the culture that it represents. It's been in the family about 42 years. Just keep my dad's tradition going. The way I met Jeff is when I was, a, uh, was in high school, I actually would go to his parents' garage with his, um, a cousin of Jeff, and they were working on this old car and never knew what it was. Fast forward like 37, 38 years, Jeff's working at Brandywine Coachworks as one of our techs. Jeff actually, when I got in the industry um, in high school, I actually worked with Jeff as my uh, mentor at the time. I think we worked together for a year, and then I left to go to Brandywine Coachworks. You've been here about 15 years? 23. 23, Jesus, we're getting old. Well, I graduated high school in uh, 80, 86, so I would have been like 19, 19 turning 20. Yeah. That's when, and then I started Brandywine that same year. 88. Mm -hmm. 88, because it'll be January the 20th, will be 36 years I've been here. I really think everybody that works here cares. They really care about what they put out. They care about our customers and they believe we put out a good product and feel like they are doing the right thing every day. Uh, ethically, it feels good and I think it feels good to my staff when we get a person that is in need and we can help them out in a tough situation and guide them in the right direction. You have to know that if I'm doing something for you, I'm not gonna let you down. And, and it even goes a little further than that. Let's say that you have a relationship, like that one customer that's getting stiffed by the insurance company. He knows that I'm taking care of him, but he has to trust because he doesn't always know what I'm doing behind the scenes. Even though I keep him in the loop, he doesn't know. He has to trust that I'm doing the right thing for him. And that is what gives him the security that I'm not going to stiff him. You know what I'm saying? You get so much like a bang for the buck, like in effect, for, for being the one that, that, that tells the truth. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's just the way it is with, with people, you know? And winners get shirts. I've known Mario for a lot of years, but working specifically closely with him for seven years now. 
the culture that has been built over the years is really important to maintain. And we can show you the people in our organization that have started at the ground floor taking out trash. Like Mario, really. He did that many years ago. But we have people in our organization that have started at the ground level and now run centers. You do talk to some of the employees. A lot of employees are veterans. They, they've been here multiple, multiple years. So obviously over time we get to know each other. We spend more time with each other than we do with our wife and kids at home. So this is essentially your, your family. What's Even, that like? It, it's tough at times, especially with, ha with having young kids. Um, you know, but it's, it's also makes it enjoyable to come to work. Right? When, when you have a connection with everybody you work with and you like the people you work with, it makes it easier to come to work every day. Looking back at 36 years, how fortunate I have been to work with the people I do today, um, um, I feel blessed. The, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just unusual. I, I don't know if, you know, I, I talk to people and, and they're like, oh my God, it's Monday, I gotta go to work. Well, I, I, I'm like, it's Monday. I, I'm, I'm excited to see my, uh, my second family at work. I, I really am. <laughs> this is Michelle! <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> One of the things that uh, makes me happy is when a coworker of mine wants me to hire a family member. And we have a few that are, are working at our locations today. As much as I ask them not to, to do anything else, go to college, we'll pay for it. Go. Nope, he wanted to be a body man. I'm, I'm John, John Becker. John trained all of our apprentices at, at the uh, Exton location. The funny thing is I wanted to train my own son, but everybody said, don't do it, don't do it. And looking back at it now, you know. Probably better that way. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I don't, it's probably better that way, because we would just end up bumping heads anyway in the end. Yeah. We, yeah. Could, we could work together now, because now he knows what he's doing. Yeah. This is my mom. She's been with the company for 25 years and now I work here as well. And this is my mom. <laughs> She's worked here for 25 years. <laughs> when I had my son, I needed a job, and she said, you know, Brady Wine's looking for a CSR. And it was something different. I was working in a warehouse with my dad, forklift driving, like complete opposite of what I'm doing now. I did yeah. not want him to get into this. I'm pretty sure he tried to uh, deter me for a little while there, because when he got me the job here, I was cleaning toilets. I was not, uh, not a tech. Just came in, cleaned toilets, and cleaned the shop. And that was it. So I told you, my mentor, he also trained. Me and my mentor would butt heads a lot as well. Like me and, that was Jamie. Remember I told you about Jamie? He was the hardest one for me to teach. Very stubborn. Me and Jamie bumped heads all the time. But once you uh, grow up a little bit and realize what they were trying to do, and you kind of sit back and see, wow, man, that guy really did help me out. And that's kind of how it works. They were, all, they were always that's how right. it works. Some days I pick up the phone and I remember on Saturdays, my mom used to take me to work with her on Exton. And someone would call and say, we just got into an accident. And she would go, oh no, is everyone all right? And I catch myself doing that every, every other day or so, which is something that you usually, most people don't say, hey, we just got into an accident. They say, hey, we were into an accident before just want to get it fixed, but I, every time I do it, I can hear the little voice in the back of my head saying, that's your mother talking. <laughs> From what I understand, when people talk to me about it, I'm pretty much just like, from what I understand. He I don't know me. how or why, but he mirrors me. For some reason, he mirrors me. Every ailment that I have, he's getting. Yeah, that's not a good thing. No. no. <laughs> Being here gives me the chance to spend more time with him and you know my mom basically has formed me as a, a mother in the most part she has patience more than anybody else I know but you know and I just think to myself every day like just have to try and have as much patience as she did even even an ounce because some days um, kids really push you to your limits they uh, push you real close but it, this even just being here and working here has also taught me that you can't control everything. And that is one thing that she has always tried to teach me, is that you can't control how other people are gonna work, or you can't control how other people do things. You can only do what you need to. 
and every day I do exactly that at this point with my son here at work and just regular life. Ten-year-old me did not realize what my mom had to go through for work. I mean, some days are, people are needy some days, but in, it's understanding why. Like, you get some of those calls and they're just like over and over, it's repetitive, but I never understood that she was so exhausted because of those people sometimes. But she still did absolutely everything she could in her power to help. And I'm very thankful for my mom because if she wasn't here, I wouldn't be able to be here and grow. Don't cry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> he wants my tools, he can't have them. Yeah, I'm waiting. No, I'm waiting for him. I'll get them eventually. Sooner or later. Sooner, probably, rather than later. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Probably. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> He's gonna have it harder than me though, because I won't be around as long. And the way cars are going right now, with electric cars and everything, there's so much more he's gotta learn yeah. than I had to. He's yeah. gonna have to learn a lot more. He was more in the time where you could pretty much fix anything and everything. Yeah. Now instead of you know repairing stuff, we're really just replacing everything instead of repairing. It's a lot different, it's a lot different. Yeah. The metal's a lot different. It's going to be harder. It's going to be a lot be harder. harder for him. It's a good place to work. Everybody always says, oh, my shop, my shop. You look at the outside, it's just a set of bricks. You're working in a set of bricks. It's the people you work for that make it. And th these are good people. You spend, you know, a majority of your time with your coworkers, and, you know, the time that we spend together, you know, you begin to care about them just like you care about your family, and you care about their kids and what happens with their kids. Like Michelle, um, both of her children, I was at the hospital for both of them when they were born and uh, held them each, you know, every time. So it is, it's, we are like one big, huge family, and we care a lot about everybody. How long do you see yourself doing this? Oh, I'm not done yet. I just not not even close to being done yet. I just got two brand new knees, so I'm ready to go for years to come. I'm <laughs> telling you, I love what I do. I mean, I enjoy what I do. What else? I don't know what else I would do. I don't. I have no desire to do anything else except this. There we go. Family is everything. They are our world. Sorry, you're gonna have me choke up talking about my family. <laughs> When I started with Brandy Wine, I was um, the third, uh, I started cleaning the shop and there was two body techs, one detailer, two painters, and two people in the office. And I think we're running about 140 employees in our market. Your quality score was 99.6%, which is phenomenal. Service uh, was 99.6. Would you recommend a shop? And how many people would recommend, you know, go out and recommend somebody else? 100% of your customers will recommend Brandy Wine Coachworks or Woodbury. Just can't thank you enough for um, for what you do every day. Um, you know, we, we, one guy put it um, yesterday. You know, the walls are just the walls, and there's a sign out there that says Brainy Wine Coach Works. But without you guys inside, there's nothing to this building. You guys make it happen. So thank you. Come on here. It's a good feeling coming into work and respecting the people you work with and appreciating what they um, they have to offer. I, I I get up and I'm looking back um, and I'm I, I I couldn't I wouldn't change change anything. You know it's funny. I mean, you you I don't know if you know how old I am, but I'm I'm the oldest guy in this whole organization. You know, um, at least locally, like like the four or five shops in this area. I'm the oldest person, like by far. But my dad always told me that if you, if you stop working, you die. Because your work, if you, especially if you enjoy it, it's the essence and it defines who you are. And it gives you a reason to do, to get up every day. And, you know, and, and, and I, I, I can't budget my time well at all. So if I wasn't doing anything, I would probably just you know, vegetate and die. But this gives me a challenge every day. I enjoy it. 
for the vast most part, and it, and it, it, it just gives me energy. I'm going to do the best that I can and keep working until it's not enjoyable or my health doesn't allow me to do it. And that's why I do what I do, you know. On the Q Couple Award, everybody gets their uh, name engraved, the GM of the shop. And um, when Mike won it last year uh, for the Woodbury location, the first thing he did is put a white sticky note over it and put Woodbury because um, it's it's more, you know, it's bigger than Mike, it's the team. It's a family thing. I didn't like that. <laughs> it's